cowboys, four bounty hunters, four hearts, four notes. Following a dusty trail of money, sin, and desperation, living day to day, dreaming hour by hour. Four beats, four parts of a movement. Mars to Venus, Callisto to Ganymede, bounty to bounty and outlaw to outlaw. One ship, one crew, one destiny. Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is an anime which I happen to hold very close to my heart. It's amazing highs and down or lows really get to my heartstrings. But that first episode, it was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. A master class in anime. It did everything right in just one episode. Within the first few minutes, it had me right on the edge of my seat. And that title, man. Oh my god, it was a genius. Asteroid Blues. It's like a little microcosm of the entire series. It encapsulates all the things. Loneliness, existentialism, the, the search for meaning. Now, Cowboy Bebop does a lot of things right, and I think one of the things it does right within its first episode is setting up the atmosphere. Cowboy Bebop is like this. It seamlessly blends the soulful rhythms of 1930s jazz with the sleek futurism of interstellar technology. Now, imagine this. Imagine stepping into a smoky, dimly lit bar where saxophones wail and neon signs flicker loudly. The air crackles with mystery and every note played on a piano resonates with loneliness and longing. Now overlay this noir infused aesthetic onto a cosmic canvas. Picture bounty hunters navigating their weathered spaceships chasing elusive targets across asteroid belts and distant moons. The grid of film noir meets the vastness of the cosmos. That's the best way to describe Cowboy Bebop. A gunfight. That's how Cowboy Bebop starts off its first episode. Starting with a gunfight might seem cliche, but Cowboy Bebop subverts expectations. It doesn't rely on the action for impact. It uses the gunfight as a gateway to character exploration. Spike Spiegel's nonchalant demeanor during the fight hints at his complex past. His calmness contrasts sharply with the chaos surrounding him. His deadpan expression and detached attitude convey a sense of emptiness. He's a man who has nothing left to lose. His drifting existence aboard the Bebop mirrors the vastness of space itself. The ship becomes both his refuge and his prison. In this gunfight, we also meet Jet Black, the pragmatic pilot and captain of the Bebop. He has a very stern demeanor, and it hints at his past being something more than we can tell. He's actually a former cop, you see. And it adds a lot to their crew dynamic. Their interaction hints at a shared history, and viewers are very curious about their backstory given the first episode, usually. This episode also features a self-contained bounty hunt, giving the newcomers a taste of the show's episodic format, while also hinting at the underlying character complexities. The premise of this episode revolves around Asimov's Soulsman and the Triads. Asimov's not a typical one-dimensional villain. His backstory reveals layers of desperation, love, and ambition. He steals the performance-enhancing drug Bloody Eye to start a new life with his wife, Katarina, on Mars. His actions are driven by a desire for freedom and escape. Asimov's use of Bloody Eye enhances his fighting abilities, but it also takes a toll on his mind and body. He becomes addicted to it slowly and slowly. Asimov's fate, however, is sealed when Katarina kills him to avoid capture. Her act of mercy and desperation is a poignant moment. His death highlights the show's themes of loneliness, sacrifice, and the consequences of choices. Now you may be wondering, how does Cowboy Bebop juggle all these moving parts? Does it do it effectively or does it fall flat? Flawlessly is the answer. Cowboy Bebop molds all these moving parts together to create an amazing first episode. For example, the cadence of the episode. It moves so flawlessly and it has confidence in itself. Cowboy Bebop also wears its themes on its sleeve. For example, the loneliness. The Bebop is a lonely vessel sailing through the void. 
Spike's eyes hold galaxies of solitudes, and Jet's arm echoes lost connections. Loneliness is their shared refrain. In the theming of the music, the jazz infused score is the heartbeat of the series, from Tank to Rush. The music punctuates every beat, evoking the longing, rebellion, and the pain of existence. Using all of these tools, Cowboy Bebop molds all of these together to create an amazing first episode that keeps you wanting to watch more. With its melancholic themes and jazz music, it just draws you in, and it draws me in. I can't get enough of this show. I want there to be another season, even though I don't at the same time, because the ending was amazing. This show makes you feel things you'll never feel again. And that's why I think you should go out and watch Cowboy Bebop. Because the first episode is unlike anything you've ever seen.